Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode where we dive deeper in Python and just to remember in the last episode you learned about the print function and how it does the work of outputting some content you type in between the quotes and the title of this episode is called variables. So the point behind variables is that you can assign a name and any name you want to store some information to make your Python program be more readable and write more clean code. So if you want to display a text like Jim the programmer, you can take that text and assign it to a variable with the name message, like this. And whenever you call the message, it will return you back the actual text you put in, you equalize it to whenever you call it, for example, with the print function. So what I'm going to do in my second line is actually try to print this message, but I'm not going to do something like Jim the programmer, right? I'm not going to repeat myself because this is the work I want to make myself more easier. So I can take all this text here and besides that I can write the message variable that I just created. So when I execute that program I will get back what the message is equal to which is Jim the programmer. So basically, think of the Python variables like your contact list on your personal phone. Because obviously you don't memorize your friend's number with your brain and you use the memory of your phone so you can refer to that number by its contact name. And this makes your life much 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 easier. And what Python does is the exact same thing. So while it executes, it reserves memory to store variables and its values. So all the variable assignments are stored in a reserved memory for the execution of that specific file. And when you call it, as we do that in the third and the fourth line of the hello world file, it is going to return back the values. So the name one is going to print Jim and the name two will print John. So this is the magic behind variables and this is very important to understand because the variable assignment is a a very popular operation that you do in any programming language. So let's turn back to our PyCharm and try to define some more variables. We will start with name1 equals to Jim and this time I will name my name2 to Jerry and also I want to make a variable for some numbers. So as you can make variables for text with the single or double quotes, we can also do that for numbers. So let's try to do that with age and let's make two ages here. So I will fix that to age one and this to age two. And let's try to print each of those and we will verify that not only we can print in text, but also we can print the numbers. Let's see the result of this execution here. So after I've done to print each of them, let's try to run that. And as you see, I will see each of the values one after each other. Now, another thing that we can do is to add a string to each other and to add the numbers to each other. So how we are going to do that? I can erase all those prints and once I open the print with the parentheses, I can put here whatever I want, okay? So I can do something like name one plus name two and I will see the both names in the same line like this. But if I want to make this to look more clean, I can also make some more additions. So we can go with something like opening a single quotes here and just press the space bar so we will have a space between the names and that will make more sense. So if I will do this, I can get this back because we can add strings to each other as much as times we want. 
and I can do for sure the same operation with the numbers. So if I do age 1 plus age 2 with a simple math we will get back 63 because it's 24 plus 39. So this is how you can define variables okay this is really important to understand how you do that and in the next episode we are going to look deeper in variables so there are not only characters and numbers and we will meet the other types of variables. So I will see you in the next one. Make sure to crack the subscribe button and like this video. I will see you in the next one.